Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you caught our last video, you already know what malocclusion is, when your teeth and jaw decide to throw a little dance party out of sync. But today we're talking about solutions. That's right, we're diving into the different ways you can tame that tooth party with some pretty cool treatments. So stick around and let's get those teeth in line. So why should we bother treating malocclusion? I mean, can't we just live with a few misaligned teeth? Malocclusion can lead to trouble chewing, speaking, and even cause headaches, jaw pain, and gum disease. Yeah, that's right. Your teeth misbehaving can actually mess with your whole face and even your health. So let's see what we can do to get those teeth behaving. Let's start with prevention, especially for the little ones. Some malocclusion issues are genetic, but there are ways to prevent others. First off, avoid using pacifiers or bottles after age two, and if possible, promote breastfeeding for that first year. These help the jaw develop correctly and remind kids to stop thumb sucking before it becomes a habit. Keeping the jaws in check early on makes a world of difference for that future smile. Now let's talk about a treatment that works great in kids, orthopedic treatments. This isn't about bones, but about guiding the jaw's growth using fixed or removable devices. It's kind of like training wheels for the jaw. These devices help the jaws grow in the right direction and prevent crowding before it even happens. The American Association of Orthodontists actually recommends kids get a checkup by age seven. Catching things early, much easier and cheaper than dealing with a full-blown case later on. All right, now let's get into the classic treatment we all know, braces. When it's too late to guide jaw growth, it's time to bring in the big guns to straighten those teeth. Braces are little attachments that go on your teeth with wires and elastics to guide everything into place. Braces, these come in all styles now. Traditional metal, clear ceramic, and even colorful options. So whether you want a subtle look or a full-on fashion statement, braces have got you covered. Invisible aligners. If you want a less visible option, there are invisible aligners, transparent trays that shift your teeth into place little by little. But beware, they require commitment. You've got to wear them all the time, except when eating or brushing, and they're not cheap. So yeah, braces and aligners are effective, but they come with their own set of challenges, especially for snack lovers. Sometimes braces alone aren't enough, and that's when we bring in reinforcements. Here's a quick rundown of a few extra steps that can help. Tooth extraction. If there's just no space left, your dentist might suggest removing a few teeth to make room. Usually it's wisdom teeth or premolars, mini implants. For those really stubborn teeth, tiny screws can be placed in the jawbone to anchor elastics and wires. Sounds intense, but they're actually mini heroes when it comes to tough cases. Tooth stripping. Sounds scary, but it's just a small amount of polishing between the teeth to create space, helping them fit better. So whether it's making room or using extra support, these additional procedures can really help with challenging alignments. And finally, for the most extreme cases, we have surgery. Yes, you heard that right. When misalignment is severe enough, surgery might be needed to reshape the jawbone itself. This usually involves braces before and after surgery to achieve the best alignment, and the results can be life-changing, not just for looks, but for function too. So if your malocclusion is really trying to be a drama queen, surgery might be the way to go. All right, if you're starting treatment soon, here are some golden tips to make the journey smoother. Stick to your appointments. Orthodontic devices need regular adjustments, so don't miss those appointments. Practice great oral hygiene. Braces and aligners can trap food, so brush and floss diligently to avoid cavities. Care for your devices. Avoid hard foods that could damage your braces. And remember, no DIY braces adjustments. And there you have it, the complete rundown on treating malocclusion. Whether it's braces, aligners, or even surgery, there's a solution for every case. If you're starting treatment soon, know that every step brings you closer to a better, healthier smile. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more dental insights, and share it with anyone who might need some malocclusion magic. Thanks for watching and keep smiling.